So this question comes from Mark P. Um, let's see. Um, I have to say I like watching your videos on IP cameras and surveillance, and I'm still confused with all the brands. Are there any that you recommend for external home use? I have my home network separated out using all Cisco hardware, but haven't made the final decision on brand of IP uh, POE cameras. So this is an interesting question right here, because this is one of the problems that comes up, especially with a lot of these newer technologies that you go out to deploy, is basically finding vendors that you like and that you trust. So whenever you're going to, to find a vendor for whatever project it is that you're going to be doing, uh, you do have to look at the things that your client is telling you, even before you ask them any questions. So there are some interesting things here that you kind of have to keep in mind. So the first thing is when this guy is asking about IP cameras um, for external use, right? And so this is a big thing in the IP camera world is creating uh, cameras or any networking devices that can go outside uh, in harsh environments is a little bit more complicated than creating stuff that can go inside, basically, you know, in an office or in a home environment. So a lot of companies actually don't create a lot of equipment that can go outside. They figure there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of demand for it. And so they simply don't do it. Uh, you have to think about, you know, if you're going to be uh, putting a surveillance system into an office building, you may put 50 cameras inside the office building and four or five outside the office building. So for a lot of these different vendors, it's simply not uh, valuable enough uh, of, a, of a thing to actually uh, create outdoor cameras. The next thing he says is it is for his home. So people, you know, generally, uh, when they're buying equipment, uh, they generally want to spend less money on their home than on something like an office environment. But but uh, he also says that he's using all Cisco hardware. So this is an important thing, again, whenever you're communicating with a client and trying to feel them out for the types of products that you should be selling them, think about the things that they say that they are willing to buy, the money that they're willing to spend. Are these Whole Food shoppers or Sam's Club shoppers? Um, I, I'm not... I'm not saying anything about either of those types of people, but it does get into your head the idea of what price point should you be going for. So this person is, is saying it's all Cisco hardware. He has connecting these devices, um, as long as he's not talking about the crappy Linksys equipment that has Cisco uh, uh, put on it, um, then he should be using pretty good equipment. So overall, if I'm looking for a home environment that I want to put uh, external stuff on and I'm willing to spend a little bit of money for, what I would argue is you should take a look at this company called IQ Envision. Uh, so I have a number of these guys' cameras. I actually have uh, one of their external cameras. I used it for quite a while. These guys create very, very good products. And I know back when I had their Sentinel series, um, these are very good. Uh, they get a little pricey. Obviously, they, they get a little pricey because they are very high quality. Uh, but I would argue probably the best bang for your buck is IQ and Vision. Now, if you don't want to do IQ and Vision, another company that I do like is a company called Axis. So you can go to Axis.com. And if you go here, you can go to the products. And they do have network cameras, these outdoor cameras. I honestly don't know how well well they work and I'm not sure how expensive they are but this would be a different option for you so here we go so the best you're gonna buy like really freaking good is also gonna cost a couple bucks is IQ and vision uh, a little bit lower but I would argue is still good quality equipment is access axis.com and then finally if you just don't know what the hell to buy and you're like Eli, Eli, just because I said Cisco don't mean I've got money burning a hole in my pocket. Then what you can do is you can go over to good old Super Circuits. So Super Circuits is kind of like the Sam's Club for, uh, for all kinds of surveillance equipment. So I would say you can come here and actually look for, uh, for IP cameras and see what they have to sell you. Because with uh, Super Circuits, they're going to be a lot less expensive than the other, um, than the other uh, places to buy cameras from. And so you might be able to get a very very good deal here and it's kind of one of those things like if you can get the price down low enough then just buy a couple and you know if one fails no big deal so like uh, three megapixel 65 foot IR outdoor camera here is $199 $309 so I mean they're still a little little pricey but you know they've got some options for you so those will be your different options if you're looking for outdoor 
surveillance cameras. IQ and vision, uh, access, or just go over to super circuits and, uh, and, and see, see what there is. I mean, that is one of the big issues, I will tell you guys, whenever you're going, uh, if you're ever going to start installing surveillance cameras uh, professionally, you're going to go out there and, you know, you plan to, plan to install them in a lot of different places, is make sure you find a vendor you trust. One of the biggest issues that I found when I was, I was installing surveillance cameras is it's a very high, it's beautifully high profit business. But um, a lot of the manufacturers put out a lot of crap, <laughs> a lot of crap. So there is a lot of stuff coming out of manufacturers uh, that basically comes out of the factory as a paperweight. And so that's one of the things you have to be careful about because there's a lot of like custom manufactured stuff where uh, these big... Um, surveillance uh, camera vendors, what they do is they contract out to have cameras built under their brand name. And so the issue is, is some of the vendors that do that, the cameras are very good. And some of the vendors that do it, the cameras are very bad. And so you, you, you've got to find the cameras uh, that you trust. So that's why, you know, I like things like Axis. I like things like IQ and Vision, simply because these are well-known brand names. Um, they may have issues every once in a while, but they have a brand name that they actually care about and so they'll, they'll generally give you a decent product so those, those are the ones i like so yeah iq envision axis and at the end of the day if you can't find anything else super circuits and that's for any of you guys who want to start playing around with surveillance systems and you don't really care about the uh, dependability Super circuits is, is a great deal. You can get really inexpensive DVRs and cameras there, play around with it, have a lot of fun. And again, if you're looking for price point versus the thing actually lasting for a year, um, you can actually get a lot of stuff and, and, and learn, learn a lot from it too. Boom.